I'm still a small YouTuber. I'm not like rich and famous, but it's just so, I don't even know how to put it. Uh, and, oh my gosh. <laughs> and it was my goal this year to connect with 10,000 people by the end of 2017. And here we are at the end of 2017 and 32,000 people have hit the subscribe button for one reason or another. What a ride 2017 has been, let's be real. This video is inspired by Summer McKean's 2016 video that was just like everything she did in 2016. So I am going to do the same thing, like everything I did in 2017, just because like, I kind of felt like this year wasn't all that I wanted it to be. Um, my YouTube growth was more than I ever would have expected. So thank you guys so much. I'll go more into that later, but um, as far as things that I did, I just felt like there was so much more I wanted to do this year that I didn't. And then I made this list and it made me feel better because I was like, wow, I actually did do a lot of things this year. So, yeah. What's that? We made food. Do you want some? I can get you some. I might. Come here. Yeah, try Come it. here with it. Uh, Jackie brought it. It's like chicken or something. But I might want some. Do you want a sandwich or do you want chips? Is there salsa? I don't think so. Let me get it out. I just want a little. I don't feel 100%. So, yeah. Okay, I got you. Thanks. Boyfriends. Gotta love them. I started off the year hanging out with all of my friends. We had a Harry Potter marathon on the first day of the year. Although, admittedly, I did sleep through like half of it. Not gonna lie. I started working out. Like really working out. I hit 3,000 subscribers on February 7th, which is when my channel kind of had its initial like, like I went from like 500 to like 20,000 in like three weeks and it was crazy. And I just remember feeling so excited. I was like, this is it. And also I had this crazy idea that that growth would keep up forever. Obviously it didn't, like it is not exponential, it changes. I went to Aruba where I met a subscriber in person for the first time, which was so awesome. I did this thing called Snooba that I was terrible at. I held hands with the monkey and it was glorious. I auditioned to be an NFL cheerleader for the Colts. I was rejected from all of my top universities. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. I worked a lot. I got my first ever sponsorship, which was with Upbra, which was awesome. It just like, to me, that was like, wow, I actually, like, this is my job now. I met Jesse McCartney. So yeah, 2005, me is living, just saying. I went to prom. I went on lots of photo shoots with Mina. I graduated from boarding school slash high school slash boarding school. <laughs> I went to Florida after deciding the day before. I think my ticket was like very expensive I, because I bought it the day before, but I was like spontaneity, whatever. I auditioned for a short film. I ran my first ever 5K. I went to a lantern festival. I went to Jamaica with Ben. I tried uh, multiple drinks with rum in them and it was disgusting. I jumped from and climbed lots of waterfalls, which made me so happy. I remember just singing History by One Direction because when I get really excited, I just sing songs. <laughs> we swam in the coolest lagoon that I don't have any footage from because it was pitch black, but there were bacteria that like lit up blue when you swam and disturbed them. And it was the coolest thing. I mean, admittedly, the bottom of the lagoon was like deep mud. So Ben carried me the whole time because I was really kind of freaked out by it. But it was still really cool. A parrot bit me. I was recognized in public for the first time. I was at CVS and I was buying something. I don't know what, but this girl was like, are you on the internet? <laughs> like, I've seen your face on YouTube before and I was like, that's me. I started college and I joined some clubs. Then I quit the clubs. <laughs> I got a job as a waitress. I signed a lease to live with four girls that I barely know. <laughs> I tried to do Halloween makeup for the first time. I was in a tornado, I'm pretty sure. 
pretty sure. A big name makeup brand sent me products for the first time just because and um, that was Glossier and I remember it just like it was the coolest feeling because I was like wow I feel like all of these youtubers that I watch that get PR packages just because not because the company is like paying them or not because they're promoting them but just because and that was just really cool to me I started my blog speaking of which I have a new blog post out that is similar to this video but this video is more looking back and my blog post is kind of more looking forward so um, check that out down below I went to Georgia just to make a video and it turned out very well if I could say so myself I gave the best gift that I've ever given this year which was to take my grandma and mom to Ireland, which we're going in May, but it just was so cool to give them that gift. Um, I bought them this like picture, this Irish picture book, and then I got them some passport wallets and some luggage tags, and I was like, okay, what would you guys do with these things? And it was so cute. I hung out with my long distance best friend, Ezekiel, who I see once every like year or more. Yeah, I saw him one year ago, but before that it was two years since we saw each other. So yeah, that was nice. We went and got lunch and then we went to the mall and just hung out. And then I ended the year really sick. Um, on my list here, I said that I ended the year hanging out with friends at Ben's apartment. Unfortunately, Sans Bailey. But um, I actually didn't hang out with anyone. I just laid in bed because I was sick and I listened to everyone else. <laughs> I laid in bed and I watched New Girl and I... Um, Listen to the Hunger Games audiobook that I've been listening to here for a second. Actually, I'm on Mocking Day now, but um, it was an okay night, except I felt terrible. But other than that, that was fine. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna get a little sappy on you guys. I just want to thank you guys all so much for a great year. Like, so many things on my list would not have been there if it wasn't for YouTube, if it wasn't for you guys watching my videos. And like that just made a huge impact on how my year went, how I spent my time, like all of, all of those things. And it's so funny because at the beginning of the year I had, I remember when I made my New Year's resolutions video last year, I had 369 subscribers. And I remember then I was like, wow, like 369 people care about my life. And... Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it was my goal this year to connect with 10,000 people by the end of 2017. And here we are at the end of 2017 and 32,000 people have hit the subscribe button for one reason or another. And it's like so bizarre to me that this is my life. And obviously like, again, 32,000 people, I'm still a small YouTuber. I'm not like rich and famous but it's just so i don't even know how to put it uh, just thank you guys a million times thank you like it is so awesome that you guys care about my life that you find me entertaining or whatever it is you find me i don't know um but thank you guys so much and um my new goal that i am setting for 2018 is to have connected with 75,000 people by the end of 2018 I feel like that's a big goal um, that is actually I think that's exactly no it's not that's a little over double what I have right now um, a part of me really wanted to say a hundred thousand but I was like I never I'm gonna reach that but then and a part of me wanted to say 50,000 but I was like 50,000 might be too small of a goal I don't know so I'm gonna say 75,000 as a nice medium. I don't know if my channel will grow to have impacted that many people by the end of 2018, but it would be really awesome if it did, you know? Um, in 2018, in 2018, I wanna put forth better content. Um, like sometimes I feel like I'll just film a vlog and I'll put it up and it's, sure it's entertaining or whatever, but I don't feel like it's good quality. I don't feel like it wasn't a huge production, it didn't take me all that much work, so I want to try to make more quality content versus just kind of throwing together vlogs sometimes. Like I know you guys like the vlogs, but I want to make them higher production, better quality. And I also want to try, like whenever I do a sponsored video, 
I want to try to make that an extra video, so I'm going to say I'm going to upload once a week in 2018. More than once a week, it's just going to have me uploading content that is not up to par with what I want to put out there. But um, going along with that, whenever I do a sponsored video, I want my sponsored video to be an extra video. So if I'm doing a sponsored video, then I'd be posting two videos that week just because Sometimes I feel bad when I post a sponsored video and like obviously you guys don't care I've never had anybody comment something bad because I did a sponsored video because when I do sponsored videos I'm always like here's the thing if you want to check it out you can but I'm never like this is the best Get it, you know I also want to focus more on Instagram this year um, like my Instagram growth has really been purely from YouTube thus far but I kind of want to focus more on Instagram and see how I can grow on there. The Instagram algorithm is like really strange, so I don't know if I'll be able to, but I would like to try and I wanna post more often, like every other day or every three days on Instagram. This year I just wanna put my all into everything. Um, you know, I'm gonna be traveling a lot, I'm gonna be working a lot, um, hopefully growing a lot, um, and hopefully I'm gonna make like some awesome videos this year. Hopefully I'm gonna connect with more people this year online and through my travels, through my experiences. A part of me like wants to blurt out all of my travel plans for this year, but then a part of me wants it to be more of like a fun surprise. So for now, I'll um, keep it to myself. I'm going to have a very exciting 2018 and I hope you guys are going to have an awesome 2018. It's all about your mindset. You know, I was going into 2017 with a great mindset. I actually made a video i made a list of all the things i had done in 2017 um all the noteworthy things which was actually shorter than this list i made um and i titled it the year of l's because i tried a lot of things and i failed at a lot of things but it didn't feel like a failure because i was like okay at least i put myself out there and i tried in 2018, I want to continue my journey of not caring what people think. Um, that was something I worked on like the second half of 2017 and I just want to kind of continue to work on that because I'm not quite at a place where I'm like, you know, I don't worry about what people think, but I am so bad about that. Like when it comes to filming in public or what I'm wearing and that is just so dumb, you know, I should be able to wear whatever I want and not worry about what people think. So I'm kind of working more whoa hello my face is here i'm trying to work more towards having that attitude all the time um and encouraging you guys to have that attitude because you should never worry about what someone else is thinking like it's all about you honey it's all about you so here is to 2018 to growing working as hard as we possibly can and overall contentness contentness being content in your life um, that's something I really want to work towards. I'm, I put this in my 2017 video, um, or 2017 resolutions video about how I, I'm really bad about comparing myself to other people and comparing people's page 50 to my page five. And that is something I need to continue to fight because I'm really bad at looking at these big people and thinking, wow, like. How did they get there? How did they do that? And why am I not there? So I need to focus more on myself versus other people. And yeah, <laughs> so I'm rambling. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video with just a huge thank you to you guys. Like I appreciate you every single day. You have totally changed my life. You have totally changed my life and I could not be more grateful. You guys are the best and I love you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. When I talk to my friends so quietly, who would think it is? Look at what you did to me. Tennis shoes don't even need to buy a new dress. <laughs> yes, this lighting is really good. I love using my fancy.